Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss lead code question 837 that says new 21 game. So guys, although this question is tagged as a medium level question, but this is of a medium hard type of question as the question definition is very much complex. To understand the description part is very much hard for this question. So yeah, you can consider this of a medium hard level. Also here you would require some additional knowledge of probability. Uh, so yeah. Considering all these factors as well as this question definition, uh, we can consider this above for an above medium level or like medium hard level. So yeah, guys, if you find this question difficult to understand, then don't worry. Just watch the video. I will explain you each part of the question in a simple language that uh, you don't have any doubts after watching this video. So yeah, guys, stick till the end and watch the complete video. So here you are given a new 21 game. So uh, this is a card game 21 in which if you score a 21 then the game would end so i don't know exactly uh, what is this card game 21 but it is something like that that if you score 21 then the game ends okay so similarly we have to do something here so here there is one player alice so she she starts with a zero points she can draw any number of cards means she can she can pick any number cards until she has less than k points okay further she will uh, pick a card randomly from a range 1 to maximum points so you will be given some maximum point integer so there are cards ranging from 1 up till maximum points further each card or each draw is independent and the outcome has equal probabilities that is see she has the range of cards from 1 to maximum points and drawing any card from this range has an equal uh, probability okay further alish stops uh, uh, after she gets k or more points so she will stop after she acquire k or more points further this is what we need to return we need to return the probability that alice has n or fewer points okay we need to return this probability and the answer within 10 to the power of minus 5 are the actual answer must be considered so you have to return the answer up till five decimal digits so guys just skip this examples for a while and let's try to understand the question first so here you would be given a range from one to maximum points okay that means you will have card with a score one or a number one and up till card with a number maximum points so for an example if a maximum point is 10 then you will have card one card with a value two card with a value three up till card with a value 10 okay now further you will be given one variable k k is nothing but a score at which alice will stop so uh, stop the game game when you reach a score greater than or equal to k so this is this can be considered like a threshold value so if you reach this threshold value k, then Alice so should stop playing the game. Now the question says that we need to find the probability of Alice scoring n or fewer points. Okay. So n is some uh, another integer that you will be given in the input. So we need to find the probability of Alice scoring n or fewer points. Okay. Now let's think of this. So we need to find probability of n plus probability of n minus 1 plus probability of n minus 2 up till probability of k see now the question says we need to find probability of n and fewer points so yeah n minus 1 is a fewer point n minus 2 is a fewer point and the least point at which the game will stop would be probability of k see guys game will only stop if the score is greater than equal to k right so the last or the minimum score at which the game would stop would be k correct so we need to find all the probabilities up till probability of k because this is the point at which game stops right and if you check the constraints you will find that n would be greater than equal to k n is always greater than equal to k so yeah this uh, n will be always greater than equal to k and we will find all the probabilities up till probability of k got this so i hope you guys have now somewhat understanding of what we have to do in the question we simply need to find probability of n n minus 1 n minus 2 up till probability of k because the game stops at k okay now taking the third example given here taking this example if we have maximum points 10 k is 70 and n is 21 so what solution we have to give gain here we have to find probability of 21 plus probability of 20 19 18 and up till 17 because k is 70 so this is where the game ends okay so see game ends at any point where the score is greater than or equal to k so game can end at 17 at 18 at 19 and the maximum score is 21 for which we need to find probability 
so these are the different probabilities that we need to find okay now let's try to expand one of the probability okay so let's try to think of this probability of 21 so what how we can find the probability of 21 see for suppose if you want to gain a score of 21 where the maximum points that you can get is 10 so how you can get a score of 21 so for that uh, if you uh, one such ways to find probability of 16 means somehow you get a score of 16 and then you get gain a score of 5 because 16 plus 5 is what 21 and yeah why we can take 16 because 16 uh, is uh, less than k 16 is less than 17 so yeah 16 is less than k so after that it means if we are at a point 16 that means we have still mean that means the gain is not end and we have still one chance to take one another card okay correct when we are at 16 then at that point we have a chance to take another card because the game is not ended as 16 is less than k so yeah after us if uh, if we have score of 16 and we take a card of 5 then we can make up 21 correct so this is one way plus there is one another way if we have a current score of 15 now 15 is less than k that means the game has not ended so yeah we have a chance to take one another card so if we are at 15 current score is 15 we can take a card with a value 6 so yeah 15 plus 6 is 21 so this is one another another possible way so we can do this up till what up till we have 21 minus maximum points because uh, 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 because we can draw see why this is this is the place at which this probability of 21 will end because see guys what is the maximum uh, points card we can uh, draw this is nothing but 10 so because the maximum points is a maximum value card that we can draw so here that is 10 so we can draw 10 so this value must be 21 minus 10 so that is nothing but probability of 11 so if you have a current score of 11 then you can draw a card of value 10 and you can get the answer 21 so this is one valid probability correct so yeah you can think this that if you want to find probability of 21 then these are different possible states this is a state 1 state 2 and this is state n so yeah, if you want to find probability of 21 these are the different possible states and we would sum up sum up each values values of each state to get the probability of 21 so guys clear till here that we can start off with k minus 1 value up till uh, the 21 minus maximum points because the maximum points is a maximum value card that we can draw okay clear till here now here we it is said that each draw is independent and the outcome has the equal probability so that means drawing a card or picking a card from the set of 1 to maximum points has an equal probability okay this line states that that means what that means probability or to pick a card with a value 1 is 1 by 10 that is 1 by maximum point the similarly probability to pick a card of value 2 is the same as probability to pick a card with a value 1 and so on so to pick any card from a range 1 to maximum points has the same probability and its probability is nothing but 1 upon maximum point so guys if you have some idea of probability then you would know that probability is nothing but favorable output upon a uh, total number of outputs so yeah for each card it is one by maximum points because this is the maximum number of cards that we have so one thing if you notice here in, in this probability that we have calculated then the second thing that is probability of 5 6 up to probability of 10 this is constant value this has same value that is one upon maximum points right this is one upon maximum point this is constant thing correct so yeah if you want to find probability of any value i then you will start from k minus 1 k minus 2 up till i minus maximum points right and this thing this is constant so i have taken at x as x this is a constant value correct there is nothing but one upon maximum points so guys based on this thing what we can do is we can find the probability of all the numbers starting from 0 up till what up till n right we can find probabilities from up from 0 up till n and from that we can only take the uh, probability of k to n as our answer because you know if you find want to find the probability of n or the solution that means it is nothing but for sum of n n minus 1 up till k so here this this is the thing we did probability of k k plus 1 k plus 2 up till n right but here let us discuss this part now for an example if k equals to 0 that means the threshold is itself 0 value then simply return 1 that is 100 percent probability right this is 100 percent probability then we took one dp array to store probability of each right probability of each number which simply took this dp array of size n plus 1 we start off from 1 up till n so this outer loop and the inner loop will start from 
uh, j equals to 1 up to maximum points, right? So here we have this condition if i minus j should be greater than 0, that means this value, this value must always be greater than 0, right? There is no point of having negative, uh, negative probability. So yeah, this value must be greater than 0 and i minus j must be less than k. This value must be less than k. See guys, we always start from k minus 1 until this value is greater than 0, right? So we only calculate this probability, keeping these edge cases in mind. See, if it is greater, um, see, it must be less than k because if it is greater than or equal to k, then there is no need to add the probability in probability of i. There is no need to add because the game would stop. So we would calculate between these two ranges only. So yeah, guys, that's why we took this if condition uh, to, uh, to manage that edge case 1 and edge case 2 here. And yeah, we calculated the probability. It is nothing but probability of i minus j. So this is this thing, i minus j divided by this maximum point. So this is what? This is nothing but the constants x. This is this thing, x, right? So yeah, this is how we calculate probability of all the numbers starting from 1 up till n. Uh, and for each number, we have calculated uh, by summing up this thing, right? We are summing up, right? This is nothing but uh, this inner loop, right? This is this inner loop, we we'll calculated this thing. This probability, this inner loop will j, we we'll calculate this thing, keeping these two edge cases in our mind. So yeah, guys, that's, that's how we calculate all the probabilities starting from 1 up till n. And then we only took... Uh, the probability of k, k plus 1, k plus 2 up till n in our answer, right? Because this is what we need to return in the answer. So, we simply return this. But if you guys, if you go this way, then this will give you time limit exceeded item. And if you see the time uh, complexity of this is nothing but big O of n multiplied by maximum points. So, this many times, this for loop, uh, two for loops will run. This would be n into maximum points, right? And this will give you time limit exceeded item. So, guys, we need to make an efficient solution. We need to find some efficient solution. Now, for an ex example, if you if you have this, the same example I have taken. Now, if you want to find probability of 18, that would be nothing but, see, we can start, we will only start from 16, right? We cannot start from 17. So, it would be 16 in multiplied by some constant, 15 multiplied by some constant, up till probability of 8, multiplied by some constant, see, uh, until 8 only because the maximum point is 10. So, yeah, 10 plus 8 must be 18. So, yeah, we can go up till 8. Now, just a step back. If you want to find probability of 7, it would be 16, 15, 8 and 7. Up till 7, we can go here. For 16, we can we will start from 15, 14, 7 and 6. So, guys, if you see that for a 16, this part, probability of 15 up till probability of 7, this is the same thing we are using here in, pro in the next step. See, if you go from 16 to 17, there is this thing. 15 up till 7, we are using as it is, right? 15 up till 7. Now, if you go from 17 to 18, we are using the same thing. From 16 to 8, we are using the same thing. So, we discard some of the values and add some of the values, right? So, if you observe this, that there are the few values that we are using. So, this is nothing but a common sum or we can take think this of as a window, window of video, window of answer. So, if we can trick, uh, keep a track of this sum or this window, then we simply have to add some additional values and remove some of the values right then we can get the answer easily correct so yeah guys we will keep track of this window and we would add some answer and remove some answer from the current sum so yeah we will maintain this current sum so that it is easy to calculate and we don't require two for loops so let me show you the code here see simply just forget about this so just start from here we have taken this dp vector as uh, ahead we have taken dp of 0 is 1 that is obvious that picking up a uh, a card with a value 0 is 100% has 100% probability then yeah, here we took a current sum and added the value of dp of 0 now here we are only uh, running this for loop once there is no inner for loop and we are starting from 1 up till n now here what we are doing is we are simply taking dp of i as current sum divided by maximum points so yeah let's say uh, if you want to find dp of 2 and uh, for that we will uh, we will calculate if you want to find dp of 2 we will calculate current sum during dp of 1 so yeah that's why after calculating this dp let's say here we are calculating dp of 1 then after that we will make changes into current sum to use in during dp of 2 okay so yeah when we are calculating dp of 1 we will modify this current sum in order to use this current sum during dp of 2 thus uh, for dp of 2 we will calculate current sum during the previous iteration so that is during dp of 1 or when we are calculating dp of 1 
correct or the probability of one see dp of i is nothing but probability of i probability of i so this is i hope you guys understand this thing so now here if i is less than k then we would add the value in the current so let me explain you this thing so if this is i so let's say i equals to 16 now we have calculated this this whole thing for probability of 16 that is dp of 16 now we need to modify this current sum in order to use during dp of 17 or probability of 70 for the next iteration so we will check is i less than k so yeah here the i value 17 so 16 is less than 17 that means this value this value would be used in the next iteration as you can see so in order to use this in the next iteration we would add this if i is less than k simply add the value of the dp that you have currently calculated inside the current sum see afterwards once you have calculated probability of 17 you won't add here it is not no use in probability of 18 so yeah only when i is less than k here 17 is not less than 17 not less than k so at that point don't add but only when i is less than k add this value that you have calculated inside the current sum as it will be used in the next iteration of probability so yeah, in only that case we will add this value and see guys here we have to remove something so this is when when i minus maximum point should be greater than zero that means if i is 16 and maximum points is 10 so if this is greater than zero then we would remove right we would remove so this is the thing we have to remove so yeah guys we would make changes inside this current sum in such a way that it would be directly used in the next iteration and yeah so i hope you guys have understood this thing and at the end this is the same thing that we are just summing up all the probabilities from k up till n and we are returning the answer so yeah guys this was a pretty much difficult question to understand to build up it the intuition because the question definition part was itself difficult to, to crack the first step that is what we need to do this is this was the hardest thing to crack in uh, in point of my in my point of view because of this question definition and a few points this was the difficult part for this question and you are not talking about the time complexity here so it would be nothing but big o of n as we are running this loop for big o of n and this would be at max big o of n right at max it would be big o of n so yeah this is the time complexity so time complexity and space complexity is also nothing but big o of n as we are using this dpr so yeah guys that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you